welcome to raw online and today's topic is about sedatives and hypnotics so these sedatives and hypnotics are the important group of drugs which acts on the central nervous system the major group of drugs which is acting on the central nervous system either for treating anxiety or for treating insomnia or for treating epilepsy this sedatives and hypnotics plays a very important role in therapeutics so what do you mean by the term sedative sedative is a drug that reduces the excitement as well as calms the patient that means it won't produce sleep it just decreases the response to the stimulation and it decreases the alertness and it decreases the motor activity hypnotic is a drug which induces as well as maintains sleep so according to therapeutic sedative is a drug which subdues excitement and produces calmness and hypnotic is a drug which induces a sleep resembling the natural sleep and it is very important for maintaining the sleep hypnotic is a drug which maintains the sleep on these drugs the sedatives and hypnotics they have got dose dependent action so what is dose dependent action that means when there is increase in dose the action of these drugs that means the depression of the central nervous system will be there and accordingly the therapeutic effect will be modified so when there is increase in dose the effect the therapeutic effect is modified so in a dose that means in a mild dose it produces sedation that means it reduces anxiety it produces calmness when the dose is increased it produces hypnotic action and it produces sleep and still more if you increase the dose it affects the unconsciousness and it produces anesthesia and still more the dose is increased means it produces medullary paralysis as well as coma and finally fatal condition so according to the dose it produces the effect the therapeutic effect mainly depends upon the cns depression action and to understand these group of drugs we should have a knowledge about sleep cycle so what is sleep cycle based on electrophysiological properties our sleep cycle will be divided into two groups one is nrem sleep and another one is rem sleep non rapid eye movement sleep as well as rapid eye movement sleep non rapid eye movement sleep consists of four stages and in between this nrem sleep the rem sleep will also occur that means this rem sleep is paradoxical and mostly in the first two stages of nrem sleep we will experience this rem sleep and nearly 90 to 120 minutes we will have this nrem sleep and in between this nrem sleep 5 to 10 minutes we will have this rem sleep rem sleep closely resembles wakefulness and except for very low muscle tone and in rem sleep only there will be the change in blood pressure and there will be changes in our pulse respiration oxygen and everything oxygen consumption will be increased and in rem sleep generally women will have vaginal secretions and men will have erections so the changes the alterations night mass all these things occurs in our rem sleep and this is the normal sleep cycle so in the normal sleep cycle you can see the four stages this the first two stage at the stage where the patient can be easily arousable and in that awake stage that means the patient is going for sleep in the first stage he will experience the dosing the muscles will start relaxing and the person will be easily arousable and in the second stage 50% of the sleep is in our second stage of the sleep nrem sleep in the second stage muscle tones will completely relax and uh, the patient will move to the deep sleep third and fourth stage of the sleep here mostly slow waves predominate and this third and fourth stage of nrem sleep only we will have that deep sleep yeah, especially in the fourth stage of sleep when the person is uh, aroused he will uh, have confusion for one or two minutes that means in the fourth stage is the area where we will have deep stage in between in this four stages of nrem sleep we will have a smaller uh, area of rem cycle that means in between this rem cycle will come so you can see in the third and fourth stage the rem cycle is very less or almost 
there is no REM cycle. That means in the deep sleep, we will not get this REM uh, cycle. REM cycle is the one that is REM sleep is the one where we will have the muscle movement, the oxygen consumption will be more and uh, the person will have nightmares, terrors, all these things. NREM sleep is the area where the person growth hormone will be secreted and it produces all the relaxation to the muscle, the heart rate will be reduced and uh, the person will feel uh, deep sleep in the NREM sleep. So, these are the four stages of NREM sleep and in the fourth stage is the one where growth hormone secretes as well as there is no eye movements, complete muscle relaxation and it is the deepest form of the sleep. So, REM sleep in between it comes 20 to 25 percent of sleep is REM sleep and there only all the, the muscle tone increases as well as oxygen consumption increases.